I was sitting on my couch smoking my vape when suddenly I hear a loud thud coming from my bedroom. I get up to check, but I couldn't find anything out of place. Was someone playing a trick on me? Couldn't be. I live alone. I went to the restroom to splash water on my face as it was fairly late and I needed to try and stay awake to get back to my night shift schedule. I looked in the mirror. There were bags under my eyes, but that's normal when you work nights. I turned away, but I got the strangest feeling, like I was being watched. Again, I live alone in a pretty small apartment, so I was certain there was no one else there. I mean, I checked everywhere, right? I go back into the living room and get back on my phone to try and ease my mind, all while still smoking my vape. I'm down to 3% nicotine. Hopefully by next week I'll be able to just throw the damn thing out without any consequences. Withdrawals are the worst, and every time I've tried to quit Nick, I get a splitting headache on the third day. Some time passes, and I've fallen down the horror rabbit hole on YouTube. Probably a little bit of a mistake. I love horror, but it gets to me more than it should sometimes. It's 2.40, and I've just smoked the last of my pods. I look at my vape and let out a sigh. Well, I think that's it. No more, I said. About a minute passes, and I'm already craving more. I try to fight it, but my brain manages to justify one more pack. One more can't hurt, I say. I'll go to the store and buy one more, and then after that I'm done. I grab my keys that lay next to me on the table. I put on my shoes, but just as I go to stand up, I feel that ominous feeling again, like someone is watching me. I'm frozen in terror, but I manage to look directly ahead of me. What I come face to face with absolutely terrifies me. It's a version of myself, but much skinnier, skin and bone, pale. I look at their face and they look sad, defeated. Then that sad look slowly turned to the biggest smile I've ever seen. But this smile was far from welcoming. Still frozen in terror, I managed to ask it, what do you want from me? The figure said nothing. Instead, he reached his hand out into my chest. Stay back, I yelled. He paused for a moment, but proceeded to reach for my chest. Stop it. What are you doing? I still couldn't move, and it was getting harder to breathe. It felt like I had just ran a thousand miles as fast as I could. He started tearing into my flesh. I heard every crack, every rip, every gush. I wailed in agony. I tried to yell out, but I couldn't make out any words. Then the pain stopped, and I looked at the man. He was holding both of my lungs in his right hand. Then he uttered one word. Smoke. Then he squeezed slowly, and the pain started again. At first it was bearable, but the harder he squeezed, the more I yelled in pain. The pain was now unbearable. I begged him to stop. He paused and leaned over so his face would be inches from me. With that same toothy smile, he uttered one last word. Quit. Then he opened his mouth, his jaws unhinged like a snake. He put my lungs into his mouth. He looked at me with one last smile. He bit down on my lungs, then I woke up. I haven't smoked nicotine since.